Carly. I um, live in New York City and I'm a teacher for the Department of Education. I teach kindergarten. And here's a little glimpse of how my life has changed since um, the pandemic. We live in New York City, so our living space is not huge. We have a 10 month old son. And being that daycare is closed down, we are both now stay at home parents as well as working parents. Here is my working station, this part of the dining room table. So normally I go into my Google Classroom and check work from the previous day, contact parents, making sure everything's okay. Some of them have the virus. It's been a little bit tough. I'm trying to be as lenient as possible because um, I understand what they're going through. it for the morning. I just put Roman down for his morning nap. I have my cart. I have my gloves. I have my scarf that I'm going to wear over my mouth. I'm waiting for the elevator and one opened up, but there were people in it and you're not allowed to ride the elevator with people that are not in your family. So I'm waiting for the next one and it's empty. Shopping is very different. The line to get into Trader Joe's was over an hour and blocks long and we're all standing six feet apart. It's about five o'clock and usually it's extremely packed and there's like barely any cars on the road. Like no one. What time is it? Seven o'clock. Every night at seven o'clock, we hear all the cheering for the healthcare workers and essential workers. New York is definitely a different place. We can't wait to get back to seeing our family and friends. Roman can't wait. <laughs> and I hope everyone stays safe.